Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shouldn't of All Ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Marvel Contest of Champions video. In this video, we're going to be doing Act 1, Chapter 6, Unraveling, which will finish out Chapter 1, Challenge the Conqueror, and that'll get me my first two stars. So champions in your team are now being used in story or event quest. So, um, let's finish that out, because I'm not actually playing uh, Labyrinth of Legends, I'm just checking it out. So let's exit this out. I just wanted to check it out and see how ridiculous it was. And apparently it's pretty strong. So let's go into the quest now that we've gotten out of that. And here's the current roster that I have. Which I only have one three star, one four star. And the rest are two stars. And again, just like previous videos, we're going to be using one and two stars. So let's throw in Vision with Scarlet Witch to get that buff. So Wolverine does get a buff with Spider-Man. So we're going to use Vision, Spider-Man. And there you see the synergy bonus that we actually get 5% uh, health. And that's going to actually be pretty good with Taskmaster and Hyperion, especially once I unlock that fifth slot at level 25. It looks like I do have Hyperion in the fight. Impossible! You should have fallen in the first battle, Summoner. No matter, there can only be one victor, Kang. Alright, so it looks like there is three pathways in this total encounter. Yep, one outer. So let's start going by the left, and then we'll go to the right and then up the middle for the last clear. Alright, is that storm? Yes it is. Alright, so let's use Vision. We're not going to be using Superman in these fights if possible, as we did not put Scarlet Witch in. But yeah, we can get a little bit of synergy on these two, one and two stars if we want. That 5% health with Wolverine and Spider-Man is going to be pretty useful. And Vision with the power burn on Storm preventing her from getting the one bar. Storm goes down for the victory in our opening contest. 127 gold, 114 XP with a 17 hit combo. Alright, so we're going to get a healing orb, which are always useful, and we're going to go left. And we're going to take out Super Iron Man. And let's bring out Spider-Man to deal with Super Iron Man. Now, I've heard, unfortunately, Iron Man in this game is really bad. I don't have one to test out, and I probably will experiment with Iron Man just because I like the Marvel character, and I've always been curious. You know, just like Iron Man in Marvel Strike Force is decently good, although slow, does a lot of damage, does have some uses. But maybe we can make a use with Iron Man in some capacity, maybe through synergy buffs. We'll have to see. But once we complete one portion of Chapter uh, 1, Act 6, or Chapter 6, Act 1, we should get a full-blown 2-star use, and we'll definitely show them off in this video. 128 gold, 118 XP with a 14-hit combo. My Wolverine currently is rank 3 as a 2-star, and he does have access to a super move. Back down, Summoner. The past, present, and future bend to my will. I am the Conqueror. I am the Lord of the Time Stream. So now we're going up against Civil Warrior. Let's actually use Superman. He just, he just looks like the uh, Marvel Superman in this game. I don't know why. And Hyperion makes short work of Civil Warrior. No chance in hell. Superman reigning supreme. 126 gold, 115 XP with an 8-hit combo. Alright. This cannot be. Who are you, Summoner? I will destroy you. It is written in the stars. It is written in the fabric of the cosmos itself. Alright, so we are going up against a Venom Pool. Let's use Wolverine for it. And you can see I got him up to about 1,400 health as a 2-star. So, yeah, if you level up to 2-stars, they're almost going to be as good as a low-end 3-star. So don't sleep on that. And Wolverine with the regeneration, I feel pretty useful in the early game. So that's why I actually focused on maxing him out first as a 2-star as Venom Pool gets eliminated. 
132 gold, 115 XP with a 17 hit combo. Alright, so we're getting ambushed by Doctor Strange. And let's use Vision along against Doctor Strange. Oh. I thought I picked Vision, I guess I didn't click on it. Alright, so Superman is going to make short work of Doctor Strange. I think I took like 11 damage here. Doctor Strange with armor still gets incinerated quite easily. 49 gold, 52 XP with a 12 hit combo. Alright, next. We need vision against him. It's like a female version of Wolverine. That's pretty cool. I believe they had this in Marvel Future Fight as well, if I'm not mistaken. But I never got the character beyond six stars. Yep, it has the same regeneration. We're gonna power burn just so she can't use a special and get rid of her. Yeah, I really like Vision as well, and if I don't get any good three stars, I might consider taking him up as well. 130 gold, 114 XP with a 16 hit combo. Now we have Deadpool. This will be my first look at him. You got Chimichanga Summoner? I'd kill for some Chimichangas up in here. I mean, I'll kill you anyway, but even a handsome mutant like me needs breakfast. Alright, so we have Vision going up against Deadpool. As you guys know, Deadpool in Marvel Strike Force, one of my favorite characters. I haven't played the epic quest line in Future Fight to actually get Deadpool. Looks like he's got some form of regeneration, which is interesting, unless that's the um, kit included with him, like a talent or something. Mastery. Let's burn so he doesn't get the two bar move. There's an actual regeneration, so he is regenerating a little bit quicker. Might have to use a two bar to get rid of him. Alright, so Deadpool back up to two bars. And we're going to be able to get rid of him with a special one. Didn't really do much. So we completed a chapter of quest by the book achievement. 250 gold, 243 XP, and ISO 8 quest crystal with a 30 hit combo. Vision making quick work of Deadpool. And we get a lot of rewards. So we get the tier 2 Avengers crystal. And we also get a small energy. So let's go back to quest. And we're going to finish out this chapter. Just because of rewards you get associated with that. So let's open up said two-star Avengers crystal. Just because we can. So guarantees a two-star Avenger. Who are we actually going to get? I think the only way we get a duplicate is if we get vision. I'm going to be really annoyed if we do. So we're going to get... Black Widow? Yes, it is. And a skill class, so I can actually upgrade her with the catalyst I got farming for Taskmaster. So, let's take a look at her. Two-star skill, evade precision, cruelty, striking features, graceful barrage. Let's go into upgrade champions. And let's actually take a look at her. 169 power, just below Winter Soldier. So, for her info, her synergy bonus is with... Winter Soldier, so I've gained 3% power gain. Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel, 70 armor rating. Uh, special attack, striking features, graceful barrage, and widow's bite. And her signature ability is subtlety. Strikes her targets with subtle, calculated grace, reducing the chance of triggering their abilities. And when attacked, a 3% chance to automatically dodge incoming attacks. And special attacks, a chance to boost critical rating and critical damage rating. So that seems pretty useful. And if I wanted to upgrade her, I do have the skill material. So let's actually put those into her. So 169 power at level 3. Now at 178, no longer devil's health. Alright. Not upset with getting Black Widow. I don't know how good she is, but... I don't think I'll be too disappointed. Let's open up the free crystal. 
is pretty irrelevant. We'll probably get a uh, level one heal. Damn, I'm good. I know how loot box gambling works. Usually you get the shittiest reward. All right, so later on we do have a premium hero crystal. Uh, let's open up the quest crystals because I believe these are ISO 8s. Yep. All right, so I almost have two premiums. We have one-tenth of a three-star. I have no four-star crystals. Uh, no six-star hero crystal, limited time, 75 days. Um, I don't even know how you get those. I guess it's a chance to get different characters. Yeah, you probably get a specific character if you unlock that. So that's definitely not going to be me anytime soon. Now let's finish out 1-6. And we are going to use Black Widow. We don't want Chapter 2, we want Chapter 1. And let's finish off Unraveling, because there are some rewards that you actually get for completing it as well. So this time around, let's use Black Widow with Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier also gets synergy from Wolverine as well, so 70 armor rating. As well as 5% health, and Black Widow will give 3% power rate. So we actually have double synergy if we were to use this team. However, let's actually go with Scarlet Witch. And let's put Vision back in. So we have a synergy bonus there as well. And the synergy bonus with Scarlet Witch and um, that is 3% power gain. So we actually have a decent amount of power gain with this fight. It's pretty good. So let's see how that actually matters. We have another pathway we can just fill it up with one stars in the next one. So I'm going to spend a max energy as I have way too many of them. Just for the purpose of this video. Alright, so we have Vision with the advantage against Storm. And we do have two skill uh, characters. So we actually have three if we count Taskmaster. Two of them that can be upgraded. So is it a bad idea to actually focus on them instead of Wolverine? I'm not sure. I haven't actually played with Black Widow. This will be the first time using it. This is a special one on Storm. Again, just to block out a special one and minimize any damage Vision takes and get rid of Storm. Not that one stars are any danger, but you never know. 126 gold, 117 XP with a 12 hit combo. Alright, so as we planned, we're going to go right, deal with Wolverine X-23 again. Back down, Summoner, the past, present, and future bend to my will. I am the Conqueror, I am the Lord of the Time Street. Alright, so they want us to use Vision again. Let's actually use Black Widow versus Wolverine X-23. I also have Gamora, who's a female, so I have a couple females on my roster. None of which are really upgraded, so we got a Dexterity there by swiping back another one. The 3% chance to actually dodge an attack might be useful, though. Like, if I screw up an attack, I have a chance to not take damage. But Wolverine X-23 is getting down on health. You take a swipe there. We're going to the special, too. That looks badass. Down goes Wolverine. I should have to try around versus and see how I like her. 132 gold, 116 XP with a 20 hit combo. Alright, so next up we have Civil Warrior. Let's throw in Scarlet Witch against him. The one thing about one stars is that you actually gain a second bar of power if you get them up to rank two. Is it worth actually upgrading? Probably not. Although you might still want to for versus anyways, just just so you can actually take a couple hits against a good level two star. I'm not sure if the nullify does. Nice parry, Civil Warrior goes down. Hundred twenty six gold, one hundred sixteen XP with a thirteen hit combo. All right, for our next opponent, we have Cyclops. Let's use Winter Soldier. Even though we have a class disadvantage, these are not hard fights. They're not meant to be. They're meant to be for nuclear progression. 
So, Winter Soldier with armor piercing might be super useful against characters like Iron Man. I'm gonna go with the special one here. And will that bleed finish him off? No, 1% health, but we can just punch him down, so. Winter Soldier doing work. 128 gold, 114 XP with a 25 hit combo. Right, we're getting ambushed by Dr. Strange. So we're going to use Vision against him. Couple hits on Dr. Strange. We're gonna power burn so we can't do a special. And punch him right in the stomach for the victory. No ambush for you. 48 gold, 54 XP with a 9 hit combo. Alright, so now we have Angela. No, we don't have to fight her. We got uh, Captain Marvel, or Miss Marvel. Looks like it's the same dialogue no matter the castle. So that's kind of boring. Alright, so let's use Scarlet Witch against Miss Marvel. Kamala Khan. This is actually a weird character in future fight. Kind of like a utility mystic class. Get off the special one. Heavy attack hits four times right in the face. Now, Kamala Khan, no chance for Scarlet Witch. She looks angry. 127 gold, 112 XP with a 19 hit combo. Alright, so now we're gonna fight Deadpool. You got Chimichanga Summoner? I'd kill for some Chimichangas up in here. Blah blah blah, we've already seen this dialogue. And let's take Black Widow. I don't care if it's a class list advantage. Let's use Black Widow against Deadpool. Because I like a little challenge. I do want to play with Black Widow a little more, too. So Deadpool's at a bar. Nice special 2 by Black Widow. That'll trigger the fast regeneration on Deadpool. Go for the critical hit. Almost got him down. Ruined our combo at the very end, but Deadpool down pretty easily. 252 gold, 241 XP with a 56 hit combo. I believe that's the highest one I've gotten. Alright, so we got a quest crystal and an energy. That's not bad. Alright, so let's replay this so we can get the 100%. Alright, so this time we're going to go up the middle pathway. We're using the same team. Probably should have swatched and swapped it out and used the one stars, but I'm actually enjoying some of these characters. Here's Winter Soldier against Storm. I know it's a class disadvantage. I don't really care. We're just going to show off different characters every time. Winter Soldier getting smacked for a couple percent. The Fury buff for extra damage. Nice dexterity dodge there. And Storm is gonna get massacred by Winter Soldier. He definitely looks different than in other Marvel games, but this is probably the OG Winter Soldier, so they made him look more badass in other games. 130 XP, 130 gold, 114 XP with a 14 hit combo. Alright, so now we're gonna go up the middle and 100 percent this. So we have Gambit. We're going to use Vision against him. We'll take the advantage. Again, we're just kind of punishing ourselves a little more by taking the class disadvantage. Don't try this at home against harder opponents. Unless you're actually a good player. And then it doesn't matter. I am not still, even though I'm pulling off some good stuff. This is like my third day playing the game. 
And we're gonna wipe out Gambit. Hundred and twenty nine gold, hundred and fifteen XP with a nine hit combo and we took three hits. Alright, so now we're gonna fight Angela for the first time. And let's use Scarlet Witch. Angela's got that armor up. And nullified, so that takes off the Armor, it looks like. And down goes Angela and nullifying the regeneration. At least I think that's how it goes. Scarlet Witch doing some work. 132 gold, 114 XP with a 17 hit combo. Alright, so now we have Miss Marvel again. Let's use Black Widow. Could use Scarlet Witch for the advantage, but again, we're just having fun here. We're trying to experiment with different characters. Oh, took a special one though. I don't think it did any better than one, and Miss Marvel goes down to Black Widow. At least they kept her same badass look in. Marvel Strike Force. I didn't really use her in future fight because I didn't think she was that good, but yeah, in Strike Force she looks pretty good. Now we got Deadpool. And let's use Vision this time as a class advantage and see how much different we do. But yeah, a low end two star is not that much better than a one star. Once you upgrade him, it actually gets to be pretty good. You can see the damage difference between a class advantage with Vision and a disadvantage with Black Widow. I don't think it's worth it for Power Green. Nice parry. One thing I really like about Vision is he's got that Power Burn at two bars, which Power Burns everything. If you get him up to three bars, his Power Burn will still do a bar. 258 gold, 246 XP, a Quest Crystal, and a 22 hit combo. Alright, so we get 35 units and some ISO 8s, and we get more ISO 8s. So, I have 144 units. I'm actually saving up to get some regeneration, because I do want to regenerate some health. I think that'll be good as a low-end player. And for completing uh, part of Act 1, we get a premium crystal outright and some ISO 8s. So, as you can see by my crystals, I should have two. Says I have a premium hero crystal, one unopened, two quests. What else do I have? I thought I had two. I guess not. Huh. Maybe I already collected it? Weird. I mu must have. Completion word. Oh, maybe it goes in my inbox? Yeah, that's probably it. It probably goes in there. Tech combat. We need 9,075 to get rank rewards. Still useful to get the signature stones and the tier 3 star signature stone plus the units. So I'll have to work on that. Right, not bad with the Alliance Quest. And you can get a tier 3 Mystic Catalyst. That's pretty good. Okay, so where is the quest? I should have another premium orb in there somewhere. No. And so eights are full. Alright, so let's upgrade Wolverine some more. Let's see how high we can get him. I want to max him out of my first maxed out two star though, before we work on somebody else. 
so he's level 7, 5,533 gold to level it up. Alright, so 380 power, 1,403 and 111 damage. Claim the max. You can actually claim an energy. Alright, so the only uh, purple class I have is Scarlet Witch. We're going to upgrade her. Well, that seems like overkill in that case. Let's just do it anyway. Let's rank her up. So she'll get a special attack as well. So she is my first rank 2 1 star. And let's claim a catalyst. Alright, so... I'm sure that the reward shows up somewhere. Because I know that you're supposed to get it somewhere in here. And I had a unopened uh, premium crystal. So we'll have to see how that goes. A couple more ISO 8s there. But if you like this video on Act 1, Chapter 6, Unraveling Full Clear, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favor, check out my other Marvel Contest of Champions videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show Notes, my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Notes God, and we're going to be starting at Chapter 2, 1, very soon, and the rewards that we can actually get are pretty mediocre, but not too bad. Leave your comments down below, and have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!